We're in Mayville, North Dakota today, Tobes and I. Got to unload uh, animal from the back of the pickup. And then my wife is going to be driving a snowmobile around, well, kind of the second time, but for the first time for herself as a long trek. So we got the 73 Colt back in the shed there. Need to get some spark plugs changed on that. And what else is that? Oh, some oil and new gas and hopefully it should fire up. But beautiful day out today. Normally it is windy and there is hardly a breeze out. So we are out enjoying it right now. But I got the my 2014 Viper in the back of the pickup here. Gonna get that unloaded and cruise around for a little bit today. One thing that I did get updated on the sled was the ECU. So on these newer model sleds, the computer module in them needs an update every now and then. The last one that was done on this was in 2014, I believe they said, or early 2015, anyway. Uh, so I just got that done in service over at U Motors in Detroit Lakes because in Fargo there is not an authorized Yamaha snowmobile dealer so I have to go about an hour away to find that. So let's fire it up and see if that helped the cold cranking here. Also replaced the battery on it too so we got a fresh battery in here so... Startup process. Here we go. A lot better. So when it used to fire up before, hey. When it used to fire up before, it would fire, start, and then it would kill. So now it just fired up and kept running. So that's awesome. Let's go in and check out how oh, the colt is. I bet it's a little dusty. It's been sitting in here. Hey! Don't need those peanut shells. Uh, hey, get out of there. Get, get. There she is. 73 colt 175. One lunger. Oh yeah, a little bit dusty. We'll take a little, we'll give it a snow bath outside. See if she starts on the first pole. Oh. Now you're gonna lost. Oh yeah, choke. No, she's getting a new spark plug and I gotta find where I put the there's a power plant there. Oh well, yeah, it looks like the belt's in perfect working order. Yeah, she could use a little buffing. Ugh. Casualty. So we'll get that spark plug changed out, throw a little starter fluid in it, and uh, away we'll go. All right, so I looked up on the internet, it said anywhere from 20 to one to 40 to one on these old sleds. Then I also looked on the internet and it said this is a five gallon tank, but that doesn't look anywhere near five gallons. So I'm just gonna kind of spitball it and put about 12 ounces in, which according to this, cause it looks about a few, gal few gallons uh, for that tank right there. And I'm gonna guess it's about 12 ounces. So if we go a little rich, it's colder today. So I don't think we're gonna hurt anything. You want to make sure you get that uh, authorized Polar Pig uh, vintage for these uh, old one lungers here. Just a little sploosh more there. That's about good enough, I think. These things are pretty bulletproof. We'll be all right. See if we can get her fired up and uh, put some old petrol in this thing.
I think it's going to be stubborn. More of this. You know, with uh, what I know is pole starts, they suck when they're cold blooded, but it's nice having that reliability on the trail that it's manual and you're not relying like on animal. I rely on a battery so that it'll start, which kind of makes me nervous, but uh, they, the new snowmobiles are a lot more reliable than these old ones. All right, take two here. Up, key on. You know, I think I'm going to tow it to the pump and uh, put some fresh gas in it. Put a little sea foam in it because it uh, sits for a while. Man, it's nice out today. It's, uh, what did I say? It's nine degrees out the last I saw in the pickup. And there's like no wind, which is very uncommon for North Dakota. That's about three. Oh, yeah, that should be good. All right, top her up. Well, the colt didn't start. I don't know why. It didn't even have sparks, so uh, it didn't even fire with the starting fluid, so I don't know what's up. Uh, maybe it's flooded. We'll try it later, see if we can get it running, but uh, for now, we're gonna all, uh, the wife and the kiddo, we're gonna take the kid for our first trip around the yard. So we're gonna have a little fun. Ready, Bricky?
Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. We gotta get uh well, we gotta get that running tomorrow. But I think it went good, you didn't crash it. No, I didn't. I didn't crash it, so that's always good. <laughs> crash it. But the colt's not running though. <laughs> Fill it up with gas and everything. It's like perfect today. It's really nice. It's never like this. It is like the perfect day for a tool drilling. We'll try to get the old girl running tomorrow.